Hi. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the issues that surround the deployments of Volti. So at Gigamon, we've spent some time working with carriers already, and I've got a good handle on how to help you to de-risk some of the technolo technology issues associated with Volti. So first, let's take a, a quick recap of the triple challenge of network transformation, and Volti for us is a part of that. So the triple challenge for operators is all about 100 gigs, large pipes that you can't connect analytic tools to, real-time services such as Volti, and also carrier network virtualization, SDN and NFV. Now if you think about it, how do you debug the issues associated with a real-time service such as Volti when you've got three layers of virtualization, large transport pipes that also have over the traffic, over the top traffic in them. So we think that Volti is, a, is quite something that, that needs to be monitored and understood. So let's, take a, let's start off by looking at, at some of the standardization efforts. Now SIP is the underlying technology with RTP um, that Volti uh, essentially transports on. And it, there's still some issues in terms of interoperability at the handset level. But even so, um, the operator is interested to understand the response times and the interoperability issues that surround messages such as SIP invites, SIP info, acknowledgements, and things like this. Because at the end of the day, you, you're going to have a lot, of, uh, a lot of subscribers registering with a network, for example, when an airplane lands or at a stadium, things like this. Then when you take a look at the, the fallback technologies and any sort of transcoding um, or, or, or protocol conversion that's involved to go from IP back to traditional uh, SS7 or legacy codecs, then you're going to have issues that surround uh, voice quality and things like this, possibly even delay on a network. And to convert voice takes a lot longer than to convert the signaling. So you could end up with a signaling delay that's not necessarily in par with, uh, with the voice anymore, which could cause other issues down at the, the transport or the SIP messaging level. So at Gigamon, we have a number of features, GTP correlation that allows you to correlate the user plane with the data plane that allows you then to forward the, co the correlated packets onto a correct tool, voice over IP tool, a mean opinion score tool, something like this. We also have uh, APF, ad adaptive packet filtering, that allows you, the carrier, to be able to focus in and correlate the body of the packet to the header of the packet. So let's say that you want to focus on maybe a group of iPhone users, maybe you want to focus on uh, a group of Android users that are just using specific services in specific locations at specific times. We can help you to focus in on that and remove all of the other traffic. So you can find that the, uh, the burning needle in the haystack uh, much quicker than you would be able to otherwise. And that allows you to keep your services up, keep your costs down, as well as reduce your cost of acquisition for subscribers. So the takeaway is that the Gigamon helps you to be able to deploy new technologies faster, more reliably, better, and also allows you to be able to deploy Volti and to be able to get some sleep at night.